So I'm Miranda with Physical Therapy and this is Steve who's also with Physical Therapy. We're here to talk a little bit about bed controls and positioning um, your patient in bed. So a couple things to review that everyone's probably familiar with are bed controls. In this section here you have your turn assist, your bed scale, and your bed alarm. Like I said, most of you are familiar with this. You have to utilize the key button to access these functions. A couple things to keep in mind when you're weighing your patient, zero out the bed with the same amount of sheets each time. The instructions for the bed alarm are also written on the bed rail. A couple, um, a side note is weight capacity. There is a weight limit for the bed, including the patient, the mattress, and everything that's on the bed. It's 551 pounds. So if you run into that instance, uh, keep in mind you'll have to order another bed. So we're gonna go right into uh, positioning your patient getting in bed and safe positioning. So for Steve to lay down, he's gonna go onto his side, grab the rails, pick up his feet, and then he can keep his feet bent, roll to his back. So there's a couple things we could do in this position here to make things easier for you guys and the patients. We could start with putting the um, bed in Trendelenburg position. This is gonna help with scooting. So again, you use the key here. You can go ahead and down and work the bed. Anytime you're gonna have your patient scoot in bed, you want them to help you as much as you can. Steve's gonna bend his knees here, grab the rails and scoot up if he needed to, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and flatten the bed. We're gonna talk about rolling and positioning next. So we're gonna get Steve to roll to one side his right side. Again, we're gonna have him bend his knees and he's gonna go ahead and scoot his bottom towards me and then we're gonna roll to the right. So reach across with the hands, gives him a little momentum, knees bent and he's on his side. Couple things as far as the positioner here. If you're gonna do true offloading, you wanna use the steeper incline, not the less steeper incline. This is very important as far as true pressure relief offloading. The wedge positioner can be positioned behind the patient from scapula to sacrum. It's gonna prevent them from rolling back further, eventually ending up on their back. If you have a patient in this position with the wedge, you wanna keep in mind some other positions with pillows. We suggest placing a pillow between the patient's legs lengthwise Kind of keep the hips and ankles in a line and then we like to give the patient a pillow to hug it kind of helps with shoulder position especially a patient who suffered a stroke has some weakness you don't want to leave this arm behind so as best you can have another pillow have them hug the pillow such as that first sideline position all right let's go ahead and take all the pillows out There's also an easy button on the bed called the cardiac chair position. We're gonna have the patient roll to the side. Again, knees bent. This is an easy push of the button. We recommend your patient being in it as much as possible, especially for any feeding positions. You hit this key button and then right above it is the cardiac chair position. And we're gonna let the bed do the work. Again, with all the bed positioning, keep in mind your Patients are on aspiration precautions who should not be tipped over, lying flat, what have you. So the bed's gonna do the work here. Once you get the bed into this position, again, we put the rails up just for safety. The foot plate of the bed is also something that could be adjusted. Again, you hit the key button and there's some arrows with some feet. We like to bring the bed in. It gives the patient a sense of security and kind of helps any further sliding down the bed. Keep in mind when you flatten your patient out in the bed, if it's a tall person, their feet might be jammed, you're gonna have to lengthen the bed again. So a couple things in this position as far as patient comfort. Patients in the chair position, I'm gonna have the patient lean forward and we're gonna tuck the pillow behind the patient. Arm positioning is important. You could do a couple things here. Again, we like to use the wedge, whatever's available to us. This is important for patients with swollen extremities, weakness. We position it the flat part on top. 
underneath the patient's arms. It gives them weight bearing in their arms, sense of security, better hand positioning. Do the same thing with what you have if all you have is two pillows. Same thing on the other side. Tuck them here. The patient can feel more secure. It's better positioning in the bed, good positioning for eating, weight bearing, arm integrity. That's the cardiac chair position. To get out of it, you're just gonna flatten the bed out. All the way, it's just gonna take a moment. A couple things to keep in mind also when you're positioning and elevating extremities in the bed, how your pillows are positioned for heel offloading, for swelling. You wanna always remember to keep the pillow lengthwise and not across. So just real quick, if you have to elevate the patient's legs, go ahead, you're gonna lift and you're gonna go lengthwise from knee to heel. It gives the patient knee support, your heels are offloaded. Unlike this position here, there's no knee support. It tends to be painful for the patient. Okay. Again, all your controls are here. If there's a key next to it, you have to hit the key to activate any of the buttons. Another button that's easy to use is the max inflate. This is helpful when you want to scoop the, uh, the patient in the bed, gives them a solid surface. If they're sitting on the side of the bed to eat meals, just a quick push of the button, you can inflate the bed so it's a firm surface. They're not tilted or leaning while they sit on the side of the bed. It's an automatic timeout. Um, key notes as far as the bed alarm goes, it works better if you zero out the bed before utilizing the bed alarm buttons. Again, you hit the key and you choose which bed alarm you would like to activate. There's also the turn assist if needed. Again, key points, make sure your bed is always locked before you move the bed, you're moving the patient, just things to check on that y'all are all aware of, but we're here to remind you. And that pretty much concludes all the bed positioning. Steve's gonna get out of bed, he's gonna roll Grab the rail, drop his feet, and push up. Thank you for your time.